I'm Kitty. And I'm Max. And this is Dango Duo. And welcome back to our full anime 2019 megathon. We're back. Isekai edition. God damn it. Kitty, what anime are we reviewing today? Today we're reviewing Didn't I Say to Make My Abilities Average in the Next Life, Episode 1. You said I'd get a do-over in a new world. A young woman gets reincarnated into a fantasy world where she ironically happens to be way more powerful than she asked. Isekai shenanigans ensue. Now, Kitty, this is part one of our Isekai Megathon because we left all of the best in anime for last. Yup. So, Kitty, <laughs> what did you like the most about Didn't I Say to Make My Abilities Average in the Next Life? Well, uh... Starting out, the character of Mavis is presented as very androgynous. Um, the main character, don't fucking remember her name, uh, can't tell male, female, which way they present. Uh, it is kind of interesting uh, in that way, but um, she does confirm later that she prefers to be female, um, which isn't a bad thing. It was just like, oh, that's a nice little, like, thoughtful part of the character. Um, also, as a far as I know, this is our first um, marriage of the moe genre, aka cute girls doing cute things, and isekai. Unless there's been another one before, let us know. But it is interesting that they would attempt this. Unfortunately, it's pretty bad. Um, there's a lot of creepy shit that comes out, especially the like the antagonist of the episode is like talking about little girls and what they like about them and it's very creepy and just ruined the overall cute girls doing cute things aesthetic it was going for. Now Max, what were your thoughts on today's episode? I will admit that the setup for the anime is pretty cute. Uh, not the moe part, but the whole law of averages thing. Uh, I'm not gonna go into details because it's part of the, the twist for the show, but it is an interesting, you know, kind of like, you know, you should have read the fine print or you should, or you should have, um, really being careful about what you wished for, and that's cute. Uh, unfortunately, our protagonist uh, spends most of the episode pointing out cliches, or pointing out the kind of tiredness of Isekai, and pointing out cliches doesn't mean you're subverting said cliches, you're just kind of just pointing at them. And at the end of it all, this Isekai, like many other Isekai, is pretty predictable, and Filled with a bunch of, uh, gross stuff? And I will say this right now, that the whole setup for this story is that our protagonist didn't have friends in the real world. And I must say this, um, maybe the reason why you didn't have friends was because you're kind of a weirdo. Overall, if you want a cute girls doing cute things isekai, uh, we still don't recommend this one. Uh, just because of the creepy under and overtones, the weird shit that's going on, and just overall, like... Not, it's just not great. With that being said, if you enjoyed this lightning fast review, please consider leaving a like to wish for more wishes. And to check the description of this video for handy links to how you can support us. And come back tomorrow for another lightning fast anime review. More isekai coming your way.